Well, it's a very warm welcome back to another match day. Today, we are here at Rodney Parade as the Saddlers take on Newport County. Matt Taylor and his side will be looking to make it five games unbeaten in all competitions. So far in our four game unbeaten run, we've picked up three wins and a draw, including the win on Tuesday night in the Papa John's Trophy against Brighton and Hove Albion's under 23s. In today's pre-match show, Matt Taylor will be talking to us about what he expects from this afternoon's opponent, Newport, as well as winger Tyrese Shade. We're also going to hear from midfielder Alfie Bates, who gives us his dream five-a-side team. And trust me, there's a lot of Man United players in that one. First up, we are going to hear from head coach Matt Taylor about what he has to say about today's game. And moving into this weekend's game against Newport, it's going to be another tough game. I feel like we're saying this every week, but it will be another tough game for us. They're a, a side that, without a winning three, or without a, a home league win so far this season, what are you expecting from them? It will be a game where I feel that we'll have an opportunity to, to take three points, providing we match their desire and passion. Uh, and then continue to make sure that our performances um, are getting better it's, it's a tough game there's not I could talk to you about them tactically and tell you how they're going to play they've played different formations this this season they've got a manager that is very very capable at this level they've got an excellent squad but for some reason at the moment they're not being as consistent as they would like now from from my perspective this group our group and that's the focus for me not not the opposition that we're playing are getting better and what they've got to do now is make sure that speak about it all the time that we go there first and foremost we have to match the opposition's work rate do that we've got a chance we will create chances in this game but so will the opposition and can we be more ruthless than, than Newport this weekend to try and win a result it's a game that that I think is coming at a very good time for us it's one that I believe we can get a positive result from but Newport are a good team so don't be I, I, I would urge everybody not to be uh, fooled by their league position and that is, is, is we are early days in the season for, for ourselves and for them so that position can become irrelevant almost you've seen we've, we've put three results together and you know things are looking healthier for us and that will happen to a lot of teams this season what What's important for me is that that doesn't start for Newport at the weekend. We continue our run and, and make sure that we come away from Rodney Parade with you know, the best result that we can, which is three points. But to gain that, it's going to be a tough ask for the players. So that was head coach Matt Taylor about this afternoon's opponents, Newport County, who are winless at home so far this season in the league. Next up, we're going to hear from on loan Leicester City winger Tyree Shade about settling into life with the Saddlers and what he's expecting from the game at Rodney Parade today. No. And what's it been like working under the head coach? The atmosphere around the group at the moment is really good. Four games unbeaten. But what's it like particularly working under him? Oh, no, it's brilliant. He's, he's a manager, you know, that, that trusts the players and, you know, gives us a, a certain game plan every game. And it's just up to us to go and pull it out there and show. And I mentioned that four game unbeaten run. Now going into this weekend's game against Newport County, you'll be hoping to continue that run when we visit Rodney Parade, won't you? Yeah, definitely. Our game plan every game is to, to go out and win and hopefully four games on the bounce just shows how confident, confident the boys are and we can hopefully implement that on the weekend. And what are you expecting from Newport? You know, they were up there last season, they've been up in and around the playoffs for the last couple of seasons. Another tough test for us. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've played Newport um, when I was at Leicester last season. I know they're a, they're a tough team, they like a fight, but we're more than prepared for the challenge. So, yeah, bring it on the weekend. And it's going to be another very good, healthy away following for us. What's it been like for you on a final note playing in front of those fans? Oh, no, I love it every game. I love to, to hear them behind me. So I just can't wait. And hopefully we get a few of them away with us. So there we have it. That is our previews ahead of today's game against Newport from head coach Matt Taylor and winger Tyree Shade. Next up, we're going to hear from Alfie Bates about what his dream five-a-side team would be. Let us know what you think of it. Alfie, next up for our ultimate five-a-side team, we'll start with your goalkeeper and why. 
Uh, I'd go with Edwin van der Sar because um, I thought he was brilliant at Manchester United. Um, he won everything that you can win as a player. Um, and he basically, you know, him and the, the back four at Man United, it was indestructible really. Couldn't really get past them many times. Defender and why? I'd go with Vidic again. Um, again, a Man United player. Um, I feel like their defence was unreal, when especially in that 08-09 season. Um, I feel like they've obviously won everything they can win as well. So, yeah, Vidic. Moving to midfield, your first midfielder? First midfielder, I have to be Iniesta. Um, I feel like he can play anywhere on the pitch, you know. Uh, very technical, uh, move the ball well. Um, could score goals, could assist goals. I think one of the best midfielders around, really. And then your second midfielder? Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes. Um, again, a Man United player. You know, I'm a Man United fan. Um, I watched him growing up. And, um, you know, some of the passes he played was unreal. Like, just something that you've never seen before. And then to finish us off, your striker, please. Lionel Messi. Not really much you can say, to be honest. You know, he's best, best to ever, best to ever seen play. He is the greatest of all time. So there we have it. That is another pre-match show for us ticked off. As always, I'd like to thank you all for joining us. And for the 440 plus Saddlers fans who are going to be here today, there's one simple message as always. Come on, you Saddlers. <laughs>